News or me? Asian markets fluctuate as investors evaluate economic forecasts. Wednesday markets in Asia sagged as investors attempted to negotiate an unclear economic picture as central banks raised interest rates to combat runaway inflation, fueling fears of a potential recession. Officials at the Federal Reserve and its counterparts are anticipated to continue tightening monetary policy for the remainder of the year. However, there is growing speculation that they will be able to loosen off in 2023 and possibly even drop rates if the rate of inflation moderates. When the Fed's July meeting minutes are released later in the day, investors will pore over them in hopes of gleaning insight into policymakers' thinking and a sense of the Fed's agenda for the August meeting. We expect the minutes to be hawkish, Commonwealth Bank of Australia's Carol Kong said. We would not be shocked if the minutes revealed that officials considered an increase of 100 basis points in July. The bank increased interest rates by 75 basis points in June and July. Earnings that exceeded expectations from retail giants Walmart and Home Depot prompted optimism that U.S. consumers will continue to be resilient despite persistently high inflation and rising borrowing prices. However, Asia struggled to follow Wall Street's upbeat lead as fears over China's economy dampened enthusiasm. The country's central bank announced an unexpected interest rate decrease on Monday, and according to a report published on Tuesday, Premier Li Keqiang urged six important provinces, which account for almost 40% of the economy, to strengthen pro-growth initiatives. Analysts report that markets are particularly concerned about the damaging effects of lockdowns and other rigorous containment measures enforced as part of the government's zero-COVID plan. Adam Montanero, investment director of global emerging market stocks at Oberdenf, stated, visibility over the evolution of China's zero-COVID policy is minimal, and recent messaging suggests that virus containment remains the country's top policy objective.